Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be talking about PVC um, and the easiest way to pick up on it. Um, I'm going to tell you about a few tools um, to, to see what PVC looks like and also give you a little bit of information about how PVC gets on coins. But let's get this video started. Right, so if you guys were wondering where we are, we are in uh, kind of the library of our parents' house. They set up this kind of interesting table here um, for us to do coin videos, um, uh, you know, coin deals, anything of the sort, really. And we've got a little uh, American flag sitting in the background here. A uh, really nice kind of bookshelf. Just everything that you kind of want for a cool type of, uh, I don't know, cool type of coin room. Uh, just uh, very blessed by the space and uh, we're going to try to put it to use especially in uh, videos like this but uh, without further ado let's talk about PVC residue a little bit and then we're going to show you some coins that have PVC residue on them that were graded straight graded by PCGS. So what is PVC? PVC is, stands for polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride uh, basically was used um, in plastic flips in the 80s and the 90s and people ended up uh, putting coins in just like these slips right here this one doesn't have any PVC um, in the plastic um, so that's no issue now but back then I'll show you right here they used to put them in you know plastic flips like this two by twos um, they, they used to put them in kind of coin binders just like this one and so when we actually take a look at all these right here you're gonna see a lot of them have this kind of green, kind of green look to them. Really, uh, it's really sad that they kind of destroyed a lot of these coins here by putting them in these. Um, it's a part of numismatic history, but not all PVC is green. There's also PVC that when it first starts out, it's kind of green, a little bit, it's actually gray and has kind of white spots to it. We're going to show you guys with uh, coins just like this. But we're also going to show you coins that have just started to get PVC before they were actually encapsulated by PCGS. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of coins like this. They used to make kind of binders for people to look at, um, just like those. Develop kind of sets. Um, you know, you can see there's a little PVC in all of these coins right here. And there's really not a way to get rid of this. Once it becomes so, uh, becomes so green from this plastic... Um, it's really no way to kind of bring it back. But we ended up picking all these coins up at like a, what, I thought it was like a garage sale or something. And, you know, the coins were kept in, in good condition, but due to the uh, polyvinyl chloride, you really couldn't, uh, you can't salvage coins like this for encapsulation. And the interesting fact, and the reason why we're talking about it in this video, is because if you were to send a coin in now that looks like this, that has PVC on it, um, PCGS would not grade the coin. They would send it back in a flip and they would say it has PVC on it and we cannot encapsulate it. But back in the 80s when they used to put coins in rattlers, they actually uh, put a lot of coins with PVC in rattlers just because of the era that it was in. And so now we're going to be talking to you guys just a little bit about how to detect PVC in rattlers and in old holders. Um, so we hope you enjoy that part of the video. So my question to you is, um, is copper, silver, or gold most susceptible to PVC? Comment your thoughts down below. We'll give you the answer to that at the end of this video. So here are two examples of PVC. And uh, I wanted to show you guys these because there is severe PVC on coins, which gives you that greenish look to it. And there's also the gray and milky spots that they get on uh, on certain coins that are a little bit less severe. But if you take a look at both of these, the things that both of these coins have in common is that they both have PVC. The thing about this one, though, is that it has a lot more... The uh... <laughs> thing about that one is it has a lot more, uh, you know, it's a lot more severe. The plastic, um, it's acidic reaction to the coin. It's been happening for many, many years probably a good 20 years. And so you can even tell that by checking, checking out the staples. That coin's been in the, in the flip for so many years. 
and uh, you can really tell that uh, you know the coin's been beat up a lot by that reaction. But when you take a look at this coin from the naked eye, you, you can see that it actually doesn't have uh, it doesn't have anything that you can really pick up on. But the really reason why we found and understood uh, that there was PVC on a lot of rattlers is when we sent them into PCGS. Uh, not PCGS, to CAC actually. When we sent them into CAC, uh, John Albany said, hey, there's a lot of these coins have PVC on them and it's something you should look out for. And so that's kind of what sparked us making this video. But let me show you the exact kind of tool that we use um, to see PVC. And uh, you guys can check this with your rattlers as well. Okay, so we're gonna pick up this coin right here and the best thing that you can use um, to pick it up either if you're at a show or you're at home and don't have you know a lot of tools around you just use your phone turn on the led light and then when you start to put your uh your phone on the coin you can pick up on these kind of milky looking uh dark spots on the coin um and most of the time that's kind of uh you know the naked eye doesn't pick up on it unless it has that kind of led uh light on the coin and so that's just something that you guys can use um, when you're at a show because, you know, you want to buy coins that, uh, you know, are good, but also can receive maybe a CAC sticker if you send them in. And so, you know, when you look at the reverse of the coin, it's kind of hard to pick up, but you can see some very faint milky white spots, uh, really, and some kind of some gray milky spots as well. But sadly, so many of these coins have these issues. Let me pick up another one to show you. Here's another one here. So you can see right above his head, to the left of his face, all that is PVC. Isn't that crazy? And PCGS graded these, you know, Min State 66, Min State 65. Um, and so a lot of the Ikes actually have PVC on the coins. Uh, let me flip this one over real quick. But uh, it's kind of crazy. You know, you can see just spots all over the reverse here. Um, a lot of these that we have are kind of instructional tools that we use um, just to show people what PVC looks like. Let me pick up another one here. This one's pretty faint, but it also drives home a point. There's a little bit, there's like kind of fingerprints by the L and there's fingerprints by the R. And you could, and so when someone actually put this coin in the slab or then when they took it out of the, the, the flip, you could see that they put left fingerprints on between the B and the E the R and the T and the L and the I. All of that really um, is PVC and that's something that they wouldn't, you know, get a CAC sticker at, at CAC for. And so, but that's something that, you know, if you guys ever send in rattlers and you get um, a sticker back showing you that it, there's uh, PVC on coins, that's a good indicator for you to uh, just understand kind of the numismatic history and what they did and what they authenticated back in the 80s. Um, let me show you guys one that actually doesn't have any PVC. So we're going to show you this one right here. So when I put the when I put the uh, you know the light on it, there's no spots. There's just very few lines. There's no actual just spots on the coin at all. Um, when you flip it over, just all original surfaces. No problems with the coin at all. And uh, that's the big way where we picked up on this one's original. And what was kind of interesting about this coin right here, like we were talking about in uh, a way, like a few videos back, someone actually offered us $300 for this coin before it went to CAC, just because that person knew that this coin would CAC and that there was no PVC on the coin. And that's how rare a lot of the rattlers are. Um, and so that's just something for you guys to, to understand about coins that do receive a CAC sticker, uh, especially if they're rare. Um, that's just, most of them are going to be ha either have PVC and so let me just lay these out while Casey's filming I mean just look at all these all of these all the ones that I have every single one of these has PVC on them except for my 71D here in some form or fashion they're all put in plastic flips just like this one and so when you guys go through shows, um, you guys can actually check this for yourself to see if a coin would CAC or if it's a 100% original coin. 
and that's where a lot of the premium is going to be uh, realized, especially when you're going to sell them. So let me show you guys one though real quick that is a proof. This proof also has PVC. It's a lot more noticeable than the others. You can see it's just coming all the way down the head here, all the way in front of the face. A lot of it's, all of it's kind of white and milky. And there's even a big, big dot right by the one in 1976. When you flip it over, it kind of has the same story on, on the bottom half here. All milky. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty apparent to me, but I still actually buy a lot of these. And so let me talk to you guys just a little bit about PVC coins that are in Rattlers. Are they valuable? Uh, do people still want to pay a premium for them? But let's talk to you guys about that right now. We want to take some time in this video uh, to make sure to ask if you guys are enjoying today's video, please leave a like. If you guys are learning something, uh, please let us know down below. If you guys have anything you want to let us know, that'd be great. And uh, the, the, biggest, uh, the biggest metal that is uh, susceptible to PVC is copper, not silver or gold. But if we were to go in a chronological order of which ones are more, most susceptible, we have copper, silver, and then gold. So just something for you guys to know, uh, just an interesting fact. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show you guys a few things that we got from one of our awesome clients. His name is Richard. Let's open this box real quick and uh, show you guys some stuff. You can kind of pan down here, Casey. So just a little backstory on Richard. He's a really uh, awesome client of ours. He likes Mercury Dimes. And uh, he's really involved in just talking to me daily about Christ and also about coinage. And so he actually put a few put a few articles in here. Uh, maybe we can talk about these in a few videos. Just to tell you guys a little bit of backstory about the girl on the quarter, which is the SLQ. Uh, I got another one here. Just talking about, you know, different coin stories, things that are actually pretty interesting. Stuff that's kind of hard to find nowadays, but very awesome. Really love these a lot. We got a few things for uh, pew pews or uh, hole punchers. If you guys know what hole punchers are, it's a Texas term. Uh, we like our hole punchers here. Uh, we carry them everywhere. Um, these are all kind of clean, just cleaning kits for them. He packed a whole bunch for Casey. We really appreciate that, Richard. Casey actually uh, cleans our uh, neighbor's hole puncher. There are a lot of hole punchers, actually. Um, you know, a little bit of oil as well. So a few, uh, these are a few silver tarnish resistant bags. So I'm guessing this is kind of something that if we didn't want tarnishing on certain coins like silver and everything else, uh, you, you'd put them in bags like this. Probably something, uh, you know, remotely close and kind of the same idea as they have with Peace Dollars and Walking Liberty Halves. They just didn't want toning or tarnishing. They would consider it damage back then. They didn't want that to happen. So it's kind of something interesting that we got. And then a few kind of uh, just jewelry care kits. Um, we might be using these, you know, in some time distant future. Blitz is actually, uh, you know, a company that... Richard was talking about that he actually works with, so that's pretty cool. But uh, definitely want to get more into the collectible space with with uh, hole punchers, uh, jewelry, everything that we can get our hands on. But uh, right now it's going to be coins. But thank you, Richard, for uh, your generosity, and we can't wait to share these stories with everybody. And uh, yeah, let's get back to today's video. So, what's the truth about these holders? Um, if they have PVC on them, are they worth less? If they have PVC on them, should you not buy them? That's all really important questions that you should have uh, for yourself. Uh, but a lot of these are, like I said, numismatic history. Yes, and people actually on eBay, people on, at shows, everybody will buy these. But um, at the end of the day, just know that there is a separation. Coins are going to have PVC and coins won't have PVC. And the ones that don't have PVC are going to demand more of a premium just because 
like I said, most of them can be sent to CAC, um, or they could uh, be used to upgrade. All that stuff's really important, especially when you're uh, you know trying to run a coin business. A lot of the stuff like this is going to come in, or you're going to find it at a show, and uh, it's, it's up to you if you want to pick it up or not. But like I said, uh, there is a market there for old Rattler holders, old NGC holders. Coins will have PVC on them, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. But uh, yeah, we hope you guys learned a little bit from this episode. We hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. We hope you guys, at the next show, try to look for coins with PVC. Maybe avoid a few of them. Uh, or maybe pick one up kind of as a learning tool, a teaching tool. But we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. Uh, what do you think of the coins? But also, what do you think of, you know, what do you think of the episode? And uh, your kind of opinion on PVC. It is an interesting part of uh, numismatic history. Uh, something that we, you know, we screwed the pooch. We messed up a few times. You know, we people used to clean coins and they used to put them in PVC kind of plastic. So it's been, the coins have been through a, a crazy journey. Uh, but subscribe if you're new as well. We got a lot of videos coming out every single week. And check out our website at kushacollectibles.com. We have a few uh, coins that we're posting tonight. And we'll have a lot more uh, next week when we go to Grapevine. But we will see you guys in the next video.